We're talking today about Paxlovid because so many people are getting COVID again and again, and many people have questions because since late June, you can get Paxlovid at your local pharmacy. You no longer need to see a doctor. So one of the things to think about, if you get COVID again, you have to get the Paxlovid within the first five days. You have to have some of the conditions, meaning over age 50, have a fever or some symptoms. So if you have COVID positive taken by a test at home or PCR, but if you have no symptoms, you really shouldn't think about getting Paxlovid. But if you have some symptoms, do think about it. So some symptoms are fever, sore throat, or these same things that they've been talking about COVID-19 for the past year and a half. The other thing is that if you're over 50, have hypertension, diabetes, or you're immunocompromised, if you have breast cancer, colon cancer, lung cancer, some sort of uh, problem, or a low white blood count, or something like that, Think about getting Paxlovid if you get COVID positive test and you have some symptoms. Now, some people within the first few days feel so much better that they don't need it either. So think again about that and the availability. Now, if you are in that category, but you have kidney problems or your doctor says you have early renal failure or any type of renal failure, then you will have to go see a doctor. So otherwise, you can just go straight to CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, any pharmacy. It's now available 50 states. Now, what is Paxlovid? It is ritonavir boosted nermatrelivir. So there's two medicines and there are two pills you have to take for five days. And depending if you have renal failure or some kidney problem, um, they might take away some of these pills because it will be a lower dose. Now, the other thing about it is that you've heard on television that President Biden got the Paxlovid, but then he got rebound COVID, and so did Dr. Fauci. Now, this can happen, but in addition, it does prevent your having hospitalization or the risk of death, cuts it by 88%. So those are great odds. So if I got sick and I got COVID, and I got it again, and I got repeat COVID after Paxlovid, I think it's fine because it did save me from being hospitalized 88% and the risk of death 88%, so that's great. One of the things to consider is that as we're heading into the flu season, we're going to be exposed to more the Omicron variant and more people who may not have gotten vaccinated because only 20% of the school-aged children in America have gotten a vaccine. Now, there is a vaccine for six months to five years Pfizer and six months to six years for Moderna for children. So it's important to think about that for your children as they're going back to school. And you also have to think that if you're near school age children, you might be at a higher risk of getting COVID. And lastly, on your smartphone, there are notifications. So if you're near somebody who got tested positive and they entered it in, into the uh, iPhone, for example, they're going to send you a notification that you've been exposed, which is helpful and it can be frightening for others so you can have the notification turned off. But I was recently in a Chicago O'Hare airport and I came back. I tested myself before I went to Chicago after I came back from Chicago and five days later. So I've been negative. I've been very lucky. I wore a mask. I wore sunglasses to prevent any airborne uh, COVID virus is going into my eyes because it does go to the eyes. And so I think that you can't travel safely if you wear a mask. Now, most people are not wearing masks because they feel that they're vaccinated and they're bulletproof. That is one way to think about it. But as we know, Omicron is very contagious. So everybody out there in the audience, stay safe, healthy, and thank you for joining us on Health Talk. Thanks. Thanks.